Hi everyone, hope you're well. So for this next video, I am doing another doodle, sticking to the doodle theme, um, but this time lettering. Lettering, numbers, uh, symbols, that sort of thing, but no pictures, just for something different. And I thought this was going to be quite easy. I was wrong. I have, I have fiddled and faffed about and, uh, well, I know it's doodling. Uh, trust me, it's not serious. But the flowers and leaves and those sort of things are so easy. But the lettering. Keeping it to simple, straightforward hand, handwriting, of course, um, unless you want to get really, really fancy. Um, but I, I decided simple simple handwriting and just sort of filling in the spaces but I started by trying to divide it up evenly into sort of areas around a glass and then um, I decided no that really is, is too fiddly this is a doodle it shouldn't be that fiddly and uh, then the subject I chose uh, was Basically, or well, I'll tell you about it just now. The subject I chose included many different lengths of words. And so my dividing it up didn't work. <laughs> so I completely just laughed that off and rubbed that out. And uh, kind of just went flying at it, played it by ear. I, long time ago, did a uh, beautiful overlay color plate which I uh, sandblasted uh, words into the top of was it into the top of I think so and then I had carved through color which I think the color was on the back I have a feeling the color was on the back it's many years ago um, and I called it the B plate and I engraved hand engraved a picture of a B in the middle but the wording was all about what you should be and every word was another letter of the alphabet so there are 26 words I decided that for this doodle subject I would repeat those words again because I think they're quite special and um, this is not a super super neat uh, masterpiece like I, I had done the plate um, and because it's just a doodle I decided to choose just a very cheap glass it's nothing fancy at all it's just a cheap wine glass and it has got a lumpy old rim so I know there's no no stress lines in it anyway I'll show you it in a moment don't worry you can see my hands <laughs> excuse the plaster but that's how I just playing around and and writing it up I first wrote it up with a uh, removable pen and then a, a permanent marker and then I kept trying to change things around uh, by just licking my finger and wiping it with my finger so hence my fingers are dirty but anyway here you go here is the glass now you can see it's got a nasty old rim on it and uh, it's, it's really just a cheap glass glass it's certainly not crystal or anything like that so I decided to put the word B because we're not allowed to draw pictures with this exercise this is just uh, lettering digits uh, where is the word I can't even find it now <laughs> oh, there it is uh, it was the first thing I wrote so it's a little bit faded already with me moving now B where is it B is there I'm gonna put this inside then maybe we can see it a little bit better maybe okay perhaps you can see that there's the word B with a few little diddly bits and then I began to write 
words and just looking at the screen now I can see I've done too many really at that angle I was trying to vary the angle but I was filling in different places oh, honestly <laughs> and I've moved words around honestly it was not easy but I didn't want to spend a million hours on it that's for sure um, but you can get the general idea and there is one word for every letter of the alphabet and I will read them out to you um, if you just add B to the beginning of every word then you'll understand so I'll start by be ambitious um, be brave be confident be dignified be efficient be fair be genuine be honest be inspiring be joyful be kind be loving be merciful uh, be nice be optimistic be passionate uh, oh I left off oh, no I didn't optimistic passionate uh, be cute be quiet um, be refined uh, be strong uh, be thankful be unfailing be virtuous be wholesome uh, be kissable that'll be the X of course Xable kissable <laughs> um, be youthful uh, and be zealous I think I did them all anyway so that is your 26 words and it all sort of sort of hangs together <laughs> no perhaps when I'm engraving it uh, I will be adjusting it slightly adjusting sort of going by eye and seeing if there are spaces that need filling um, a little bit with a, with a twirl we can just about get away with a twirl no pictures uh, and I think it'll be all right not diamond only unlike um, a previous little exercise I did which was di diamond only that was just the diamond doodling this one you can um, now I'm talking to the patrons at this stage but in the future years to come you'll all be wondering what I'm talking about I do homework for my patrons and this is homework and uh, for July no August 2021 so in this particular exercise you can use diamond or, or and or um, any other burr so if you wanted to add in a white Arkansas half tone word or uh, say just do the um, capitals in a diamond and the rest of the word in a stone or I don't know white Arkansas so, something different I don't know up to you or or um, if you're doing more a different style of lettering a thicker letter um, for example a, a sort of a graffiti style of letter a big thick blobby one um, maybe with some sort of uh, half tone squiggle inside not allowed any flowers or anything um, <laughs> you're probably all thinking I'm going completely bonkers if you're watching this and in, in the year uh, 2025 <laughs> hi there by the way um, so yeah this is only 2021 so let's get on with it. Okay, so I obviously have my dust extractor on. If you haven't got a dust extractor, of course, most people don't. Um, I am very fortunate. Then just use a mask. Of course, my glasses and my headband magnifier and ready to go. 
I'm putting a white uh, bit of material behind it so I can see the lettering, while the letters are obviously written in black. But for your benefit, <laughs> and probably mine, it wasn't very clear because there's so much lettering going on, I decided to put the white inside. I started off with a little medium-sized burr, thinking this was going to be it, and working dry. Uh, for obviously obvious reasons, um, the uh, pen would come off even though it is a permanent marker. But um, I wasn't impressed. I know this glass is a very cheap glass, so it'll be hard as nails. But that burr, which was a scented diamond burr, should have worked much better. So. I have got a sharpened uh, rat's tail and I'm just going to very lightly do the lettering um, before going over it with a larger diamond. This is not how I had sort of intended to do it, but this is what happens. <laughs> you just dive in playing by ear and um, see what goes. So basically I'm going to engrave over all my letters with this rat's tail. I never follow the lines absolutely perfectly because if you find your burr is straying slightly it's always best to just sort of go with it a little bit and bring it to a halt um, rather than trying to get back on track and onto your line because then all that happens is you just make a mess. So um, as I say, this is um, not a serious piece of glass engraving. This is a fun piece of glass engraving. And you'll notice that um, though I, I talk about it being uh, doodle, um, <laughs> when I when I uh, edited it and um, was doing the, the title poster, I thought this is graffiti. This is glass graffiti. A good of good little bit of alliteration there. Glass graffiti, as simple as that. So it it really is a bit of fun. And I promise you for the next video, it'll be a little bit more serious. But we're allowed to have fun. So I'm going like a train here, just very simply going over all the words. I have sped this up to 150% of um, normal speed. I must admit, it doesn't look like it's going that fast. <laughs> but uh, clearly it is. There I'm engraving over kissable in case you missed that, but um, X is a very difficult uh, letter to create a word with, a word that you should be. And so I thought kissable was quite appropriate. I, I thought up the original words myself. Obviously, I don't mind. You guys can use them. Um, you can make your own words up if you want to go along with this subject. Um, it really doesn't matter. They are just words. And um, I've used exactly the same words as my plate. However, I could have updated a couple of them maybe, but then I thought, no, 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 I'll, I'll keep to my words but uh, you guys can do whatever you want, really. I would say if you use my words exactly, just mention my name. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I think it's a great subject, but obviously there are a billion subjects that you could uh, use as graffiti on glass. Words, numbers, symbols, different languages. Anything goes, different styles, different fonts. Right, I obviously need to resharpen my little rat's tail.
using a green stone here and just down the bottom end of the green stone so that I don't deform the top part too much because obviously I use that green stone. You can see that it is a nice shape. Um, but by using the sort of lower part of it, you're not going to be messing it up because you don't really touch the glass with that part of the burr. So now it's flowing much, much better. Obviously, using water was not an option because, as I said earlier, even though it is a permanent marker, it will come off after a little while of having water dripping on it. It will start to just lift. And uh, so you don't want that. I do love these words. I think they pretty much would I like to to stick to, to live my life by. I think it's really important. Clearly I could feel that it already needed another sharpen. That is such a hard glass. So here I'm showing you that really any burr is suitable. This is a great big chunky old diamond and I'm using again the base part of it which will never ever be used by for anything else uh, quite frankly. So it's perfect for this job and in two seconds it's it's done really. It's, um, quite abrasive. So yeah, now it's pretty sharp. Yeah, I, I must admit I'm pretty appalled by the difference in quality from working on crystal to working on this glass. Thank goodness I don't hand engrave this sort of glass very often at all. In fact, probably just about never. Um, you know, for something like this, it's a bit of fun. Uh, I certainly sandblast normal glass like this, but hand engraving, especially if you're trying to shade it, especially if you're spending a long time doing something beautiful, oh my goodness, don't waste your time on such horrible glass. I thought that was a funny word actually, to be, to be quiet. And I think be quiet as opposed to being loud. Loud to me is just sort of in your face as it were. Whereas quiet, 
um, demure. Of course, I'm speaking from a lady's point of view. I suppose reserved, but certainly not shy. And thankful is another one of my favorites, actually. Thankful for absolutely every good thing that you have in your life. Quite often, when I'm really, really down, which has been a fair amount lately, um, if you lie in bed at night and actually think about what the positives are and what you actually do have in your life, I will go to sleep before I get to the end of a list. There are that many. We are very fortunate. Okay, I've cleaned off the permanent marker um, with, a, with water, but if it's really stubborn, you can get it off with, with a spirit or something like that. But usually enough water and a cloth is fine. And I have got a fairly large diamond. Quite new. I, I wouldn't say it's very new, but it's, it's nice and new. Lots and lots of water. I suppose you, you could certainly get away with this uh, if you have a very new burr uh, working dry, but it will probably not last this whole glass. Only because it is really hard. So using lots of water for this and going quite slowly. As I say, this is 150% of natural speed. I was having to press quite hard as well. Uh, you would never have to do that with crystal. Speed-wise, I was probably going at, I think, about between 35 and 40,000 RPM. Now, you will notice that with this fat pen, I... Pen? <laughs> fat diamond... I'm I'm starting by just doing the capitals because I just kind of want to see what it looks like. Quite frankly, you if you really felt like it, you could leave the glass at just the rat's tail. I mean, that did look quite lacy and quite interesting. So now I'm doing the capitals and I may look at it and think, well, that's enough because the capitals, you can see it's the it's the letters of the alphabet. Um, you will also notice because it's quite thick, I kind of stop and start. No, I didn't do the bottom of that G. I do that later. But I am trying to um, show one part of it behind and maybe one part of it in front. This is not a letter that's that's really letting me show you properly. Um, there you can see I stopped, picked it up, carried on, stopped, picked it up. So now, then I'll go over the top again, and it gives the impression that it is really looping, and there's a bit on the front and a bit at the back, just for fun. Why not? We can. And... Uh, it just adds a little bit of something. Here's my kissable. You can see that part is behind this part. I thought actually as I was doing this that 
when I'm finished the glass, I will go back and fiddle around and fill in even more spaces with twirly bits. Well, I never did that, actually. I really just, I, I was quite happy with the space that had been taken. Anyway, so now, as you can see, I've done all the capitals and you could leave it like that. You can see the variation. It's a bit of fun. But of course, I decided not to. Oh, and just so that you know, I've got my workshop upstairs and I have a live camera going on downstairs so that I can see if I have any customers while I'm upstairs. <laughs> and it just sits there and I can keep an eye. Though sometimes I do miss them because obviously I'm concentrating, but every now and again, I glance up and, and have a look. So now I've got my centered diamond that I've tried to use right in the beginning, which I'm hoping it will work much, much better with water flowing. I've just elevated the glass a little bit, which I should have done earlier. It was a little bit low. I was not impressed with this. I, normally this diamond is, is absolutely fine because it's centered, it's diamond all the way through. But even this was battling on this glass. And going faster really didn't help much. As I say, probably maximum, maximum 40,000 RPM. So by using this, I am going over and covering those tiny little skinny lines as much as possible. My eyesight is not quite as good as it used to be. And of course, I am doing this for the camera, so I am slightly at an angle. I'm, my head is not quite over the top of the lettering, so I might miss the tiniest little bit here and there, but I will check afterwards. Um, it's not that difficult to go virtually exactly, well, you do have to go exactly over your skinny little diamond lines. You don't really want them sticking out. But also you don't want to go off them and then having have to fill parts of them in and then you end up with a thicker line. I'm trying to keep this, this thinner line consistent. And it is just a little bit of a contrast against the capital letters, but it's finishing off the, the lowercase letters so that they stand out a little bit better on the glass. Because I did this completely freehand in the end, uh, as in the drawing was freehand, obviously, not the engraving part. Um, I did notice as much as I tried <laughs> that there was slightly more bunching of letters to begin with than near the end, but only only slightly, and many people probably wouldn't even notice. But what I did notice, as I can see there again, is, my goodness, I really... <laughs> I didn't vary the angles of the letters as much as I wanted to. It was a case of, of fitting in spaces, and of course I've got long and short words, and then I, then I was changing them and moving them around a bit because they were bunched up badly in places, and then I have ended up with few words that are next to each other that should be... Um, at different angles, and they're almost the same angle. But quite frankly, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is a fun glass. And I think quite, quite an important glass. It's a positive, positive glass. And I hope that someone will buy it. A strong and energetic desire to get something done. <laughs> That's zealous.
quite often I find I actually procrastinate first. <laughs> oh dear. And then once I get going, then I'm fine. It works the same for housework, actually. Hell, I'm not a fan of that. I so am not. It's, <laughs> it's just, oh my goodness. I, li I like to create things that are going to last forever. Um, dusting lasts, lasts five minutes. Confident. Confident is a wonderful thing to be, especially on the golf course. Well, there's our bit of uh, glass graffiti. I've just dried it off quickly. Signed my name and I decided instead of doing a teeny tiny little hidden name, I've just used the same burr and just plonked a great big name on there. The name and the year. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoy your bit of glass graffiti. Be inventive, be creative, make notes. When you think of something, just scribble it down somewhere. And then when you're stuck for something to scribble on a glass, refer to your notes. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now.